Hi guys, this video is going to be vlogmas day one. I'm going to attempt to do vlogmas and I realise I'm very late but I'm going to see what I can do. It is currently 3 o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep so I just, I've been thinking about doing this video for like a couple of days so I've decided might as well film it now. So, <laughs> this is going to be a vlog type thing of my favourite art books. And I have decided, because I have quite a lot of books, <laughs> to break it into three categories. So it's going to be art collections, so like um, just sort of books that feature different artists, um, more as a gallery type book um, rather than the others. Then we're going to have concept books, which are mainly the Disney ones. Um, so yeah concept books of how they came to final designs and things like that which are probably my favorite and then the last one is going to be art books that teach you something um but the favorite ones that i like that are teaching you how to do something so this is the pile <laughs> as you can see we have a golmira del toro i'm not going to try and pronounce the second one because i will probably mess that up um and then lots of disney ones um hobbit so yeah so this is video number one and this is going to be on the concept books um, which is my favourite section of my art books. I really like seeing how teams and designers came up with the final look for things um, and often it's really far from what they started with and I just like seeing the whole design process and the sketches and seeing the sort of raw thumbnails for bits and pieces and um, so this is my pile and um, these were all a present so and my granddad bought me these um but they are mainly disney or pixar apart from the hobbit one because just i the the sort of the animation and i really like that style there's an artist on youtube um miss kerry j who has a similar style and i absolutely adore her so um <laughs> anyone who watches this and thinks that I draw animals so that's going to be my favourite kind of art Um, obviously I like that but I prefer sort of fantasy art so this is my books so I have Up, Brave, How to Train Your Dragon, Rise of the Guardians, Nemo I've got the Hobbit design book which is probably one of my favourites then I have Tangled and Frozen so I'm going to switch to my other camera and give you a little flick through of these books. One thing I will note is how I love the covers. They usually have something embossed on them. So this one is obviously made to look like the adventure book from Up, which I love. So I am going to switch to my other camera and flick through. So this is the first one. This is the um, concept book for Up, um, which is one of my favourites. So, so this is the concept book for Up, which I, I love this film, just everything about it is one of my favourites. So <laughs> I try and be really careful with these so the pages aren't creased um, or anything, but there's just like a little forward. I'm just going to do a quick flick through clue or I will be here for ages. So it starts off sort of just a bit about the characters and you see bits like this with the original sketch for Mr. Fredrickson and you just see how like I like that everything's done sort of with a marker not very accurate it's just real little sketches um, he's an early riser just like little notes I love things like that about the characters <laughs> and just like little sketches of what he's up to um, I love and sort of rough sketches of the scenes and things like that I really enjoy and um, one thing you will see a lot in Disney films and this is also mentioned in um, Rise of the Guardians I'm not sure about the others but they give a shape to each of their characters so Carl is a square Eleanor is a circle Lewis is 
a um, sort of teardrop, dog is an upside down teardrop, and the bird is a sort of triangle. Um, but this is again mentioned in Rise of uh, <laughs> Guardians, Rise of the Guardians, and I think that's quite a good thing. And you'll see like how they've sketched out the characters. So, like rough scenes like this, just like little sketches, um, just saying how things look. Like the the amount of arts artists and creators and animators that work on films like this. There's so many different styles to how they come up with the character. So months starts like there's four, two or th yeah, three designers who work on months and then got Ellie pictures. like Ellie as she goes up and so like the little thumbnail sketches over there so yeah this is one of my favourites and you kind of see how he grows like as they go further through and how they get to like final designs I'm hoping you can kind of see all of the book <laughs> And how they sort of work on different expressions. Russell, he kind of changes quite a bit through the design. And like you've got a whole page that's just his different expressions. So things like that I just think are really interesting and I like seeing the raw sketches before they come up with final designs. And then they make little 3D sculptures of each of the characters. Um, you've just got like a page of all the extras that are in the movies. You've got like the workers and the scouts and things. Just like little bits that aren't really noticed but you kind of appreciate how much work goes into making something like this when they've got to do each character. And they've got like little models that they build more thumbnail sketches and then like working on the house so the house starts off falling apart and they kind of build it up lots of thumbnails of the different areas of the house and things like that so I'm going to quickly flick through otherwise I will talk about these books for ages but kind of get how they come up with the characters and how they start adding colour to start building it so you've got some scenes which are very blue and there's kind of like colour themes to each scene. You've got the adventure where they make all the rocks and they actually went to places to find it. So you've got like on location, and the forest sketches, things like that. Yeah, I love this book. I love concept books. I just love seeing how characters evolve from little sketches like these to different shapes and then they come up with how he looks in the end and things. I like seeing just how things grow. And <laughs> like little sketches like this. So yeah, this is the up book. <laughs> If anyone likes concept books or likes flicking through and reading about how things were made, you can get um, concept books from most of the Disney films and most of the Pixar films. You just have to search for them. I think uh, mine all came from Amazon, so they're pretty pretty around. And they're usually called The Art Of and then the title of the film. Um, so yeah. Like the sketches started in pen and you've got stuff like it spans over three years because they've got, if I go back, you can see that the car sketch was done in 2005 and Fredrickson sketch was done in 2004 but then you've got like final designs in 2008 so it took like years of work to build up and get somewhere. So that's the up one. Put it over there. 
<clears throat> Next is Brave. Brave's another really good one and it's, as I was saying, they're embossed with something. This one's embossed with the symbol of the bears from the film. So I'm going to do a quick flip through of this one. So you've kind of got preface and bits. I'm going to skip to some of the bits that I like. So scenes like this. Like I like looking at thumbnails and how they went from this to like a fleshed out scene. Um, the same with this and then they've come out. So you've got your thumbnails and then your actual design work. And there's so much and so many artists that go through this and you've obviously got the scene where she wins her own hand in marriage. Um, but how it sort of grows all the way through and then they add bits of colour to see how things work. <coughs> and how they come up with the characters. <coughs> and you've got the animals of the film, so you've kind of got funny little sketches. I think that the models are probably one of my favourites, like when they make little sculptures of the characters because it kind of gives it a bit more feel than just the flat drawings. I'm sorry if my voice is croaky, I've kind of got a bit of a sore throat. But yeah, I don't... So this one's another really good one. And you've kind of got little sketches of the bear's paws and just like little anatomy bits. I love the sketches for the horses that they do in the books, The Tangled's another good one because they've kind of, they put a lot of effort into coming up with sketches to show the emotions of each of the characters and sort of building around the scenes. Like the bears, and they kind of don't just go, well, okay, there's a bear, they put a, they put a scene and make sketches for every sort of action and thing that they do. So you can see how Merida goes from like this scruffy little ink drawings <laughs> to like detailed work when they start adding colour and then she carries on growing as a character and they put dresses and they sort of make like the final adjustments and she, you can see how she changes as a character like as they go through the sketches which is what I really like. So this is the brave one. Um, the witch's hut has some great little sketches as well. So that's the brave one. I'm going to sit and me. So next is How to Train Your Dragon, which is probably one of my favourite films. I am a sucker for a good Disney film. A Pixar. But um, this one has some really good sketches, like if I go forward, this book's always had like a weird seam in it, like it, like the pages are too big. I'm not sure why, but it was like that when I got it. So <laughs> this was one of the first sketches for um, Toothless. And you've kind of got like a final bit. I'll show you the dragon section of this one. So this is the Red Death. So he just starts off as a really messy sketch. I'm not sure if you can see it, but he's a really messy sketch to start with. And then he kind of... More messy sketches, and then they start fleshing out into colour, and then kind of building him up as a character. And then obviously we have Toothless. <laughs> so... Toothless, one of his little sketches always makes me laugh because I think he looks a bit like a hippo. So, it's this one just here, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well, but this one, I always think he looks like a little hippo. So he starts off with these little sketches and then he grows to Toothless. He was also green at one point. Um, <laughs> green funny faces expressions and then this one has got like a bit of a pointy face I think he looks a bit too scary in that one for toothless but yeah and he also looks strange green 
but um, yeah, and then you kind of see one of the last ones and he looks a bit more toothless there. And these were kind of all different things they tried for toothless, so, <laughs> so you've kind of got this and some of them are really strange and you're kind of glad that they didn't go with them. Then we've got the nightmare. This little sketch of the nightmare I like. So I just, I really like messy sketches. I like people, like I really like messy artwork. So like this where you've kind of got sketch lines and then the detail on top. They've not made like a point of removing the outlines because it's just a sketch. I love things like that. And then I'm going to go through. These little ones, cute. I think it's probably one of my favourites from the book or the film. And you've just got all the different dragons. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's going to be here. No. But, um,. Um, it's definitely in the next book what I was saying about the shapes of the characters. We've got Hiccup, so Hiccup started off quite small <laughs> and a bit more scraggly and he kind of changed to final Hiccup. So you can kind of see like they did one and then they've made adjustments because it's like not right, it needs to be taller or whatever and you kind of see the growth which I like. Then you've got the original sketches, which I appreciate because I can't draw people at all. <laughs> I love looking at things like this. Astrid. So Astrid started off like this and then obviously she's changed and become our Astrid that we know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to try not to talk about them too much I feel like I'm just waffling but I really love these books I love books anyway like I love reading so <laughs> art books are just great so like the island I kind of made really dark and then building up the landscape I just think the artwork in these is really nice. I love, I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, right, so that's that one. I'm gonna stop flicking through. So that's that one. And then the next one is my favorite one out of all of them. So this is, So this is the art book for um, Rise of the Guardians and I love this. Um, the artwork is probably my favourite of all the films. Um, I love her, um, she's just animated so nicely and all the feathers, the details, uh, Sandman and Pitch is one of my favourite characters that of anything, I love Pitch. And obviously Jack Frost. <laughs> I just love like the Sandman and everything he can create. I really, really like. So <laughs> it starts off with preface and some little sketches. You kind of got <laughs> Easter Bunny. Um, the reindeer. I love this reindeer sketch. He kind of looks a bit like a superhero reindeer. And then you've got like an original sketch for Santa with one of the abominable snowmen. <laughs> so the North Pole comes up first in this one. 
and you've kind of got how like the original sort of design work and they try and I think it's kind of got a really unique style this one compared to others there's kind of lots in it that you don't see in very many others like it's hard to explain but yeah <laughs> Santa in love you kind of got all the pose sketches um, of a Russian soldier so that's what Santa's supposed to look like the elves I love the way they went with elves sort of not like a traditional elf but the little elves I think that was cute and you kind of like scenes like this you don't really think about it but they've had to sketch out like every toy that's in his workshop so like everything that's in there you've got a little paper monster ice prototype and the final toy and things like that so you've kind of got layouts of the North Pole like what's on which level um, just sort of where everything is although in this sketch and I think in the film they only have six reindeers and I think I swear they're supposed to be eight is it eight or seven you see the eight but it's either nine or seven because obviously Rudolph is at the front but yeah they've only got six reindeers <laughs> so then you have uh, Bunny, who is the guardian of hope, or the Easter Bunny. I think he's one of my favourites from the film as well. He's just got such a sort of sarcastic character. And I love when he's an angry baby bunny. And the little egg monsters. Well, not monsters, but like <laughs> the little. So it's it's like there's bits right in that says like, um, two different kinds of eggs in Bunny's world. There's an impressive eight foot tall stone structure decorated with ancient ancient mystical carvings. Their role is to guard the warren. And then you've obviously got the other little Easter eggs. But like this, I love. You can see like how, sort of sketchy and messy this is but as sort of more of a final design so it looks quite finished but it's kind of got like a real soft scribble style I, which I love and I love the colouring he's very brightly coloured you've got sketches for the Warrens I think Bunny has the brightest um, sort of home the North Pole is quite grey and then yeah, Bunny's is very brightly coloured then you've kind of got original sketches for where everyone turns up and you've got the markings that are on the eggs and bits like that then the tooth palace it's, I like each different scene or place has its own sort of chapter in this one so she is the guardian of memories and she starts off as this kind of quite dainty lady with some little fairies like a traditional fairy and then she turns a bit more hummingbirdy here um, which is by Mike Hernandez and then she kind of goes from wearing sort of a hummingbird mask with having these like elaborate wings to being sort of part hummingbird I suppose her tail was designed to look like a drapery or dress so we thought it would be a great idea to use the shape to make her look like a princess and then she kind of evolves and you've got all these little sketches up here of her moving around and how she'd be positioned if she was flying and it kind of went from being a bit like a crown to hummingbird and then you've got all the mini, fa mini fairies 
and the design work, like how elaborate the palace is. So <laughs> this one comes out with like an extra massive huge thing. Which I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to completely do. But I'll see. But yeah, like got this huge thing in it which says like it went from I don't know where it starts like it starts with a producer and it goes through the art team and how they come up with everything and then you've got each person is written down of what they did and then you've got the design work here so you've got sort of the team this Sandman the artwork for Sandman I think is just so it's done so beautifully like he started off as this kind of cute old man and then he becomes quite I think he's quite stubborn is Sandy <laughs> but I think he's yeah he's a great character and I like how he was made sort of entirely from sand as well and the dream sequence where he's letting, getting everyone's dreams out is just, I love the way it's been done, it's so beautiful and delicate. And the dream ship. And then obviously the battle with Pitch. So this is where it all sort of goes a bit dark. <laughs> And then you've got Pitch's Lair, which Pitch's Lair looks a lot like um, the Tooth Palace, just a dark version. But I think Pitch is great. I love Pitch's character. And you've kind of got this guy who looks like he's always up to something. And everything's a bit more mysterious and very dark and I love this the nightmares which I think would be plain word anyway because my female horse is a mare so you've got nightmares and how he changes Sandy's horse horses and horse dreams into the nightmares and you've kind of got all these sketches and they've got just like scribbles of how they want things to look And then the battle here has the pitch and jack and you've kind of got all these dark scribbles. And you've got Jack and the human world. And the Frost Guardian. And he started off looking a bit more spindly and a bit scary. And he looks kind of his looks a bit strange in that one, but you can see how he sort of come up with the final look. Yeah, these books are all kind of the same theme, but um, yeah, oh, I was going to see if I could, the bit about the shapes. Um, I know it's definitely in here, I'm just not sure where. <laughs> ah, right there. So the shapes are all across the top, which is all the shapes for the different characters. There is something about it somewhere, um, but I can't know about it. So that's that one. I've got a lot of these, so I might just sort of stop and just do a quick other one. So I'll show you Frozen, because Frozen, everyone loves Frozen. So this is the Frozen one, which doesn't have anything embossed on it. But it's upside down. Um, this one has a section which goes sort of into the details of the history so the actual like folklore the original story things like that are in it and they've got pictures of buildings that inspired 
buildings in the film. Um, the original bedroom sketches. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog snoring behind me. Got like little things like this, like they have to design the cake, they've got to design the patterns on stuff. Um, yeah, so this one I found interesting. Anna was originally blonde in the sketches instead of like a um, brunette and she kind of goes through these phases. I actually think this one, I quite like this um, Anna sketch. And then you've got Elsa who was done with red hair. But you kind of go through and you see how they evolve. She also had like really dark hair at one point, which I don't like. I don't like this look at all. This is very scary. <laughs> it's very strange. Um, so you've kind of got how the characters evolve. Spin. <laughs> I can't believe how loud the dog is snoring. But you can see how Olaf grows in how you've got little bits and pieces, trolls. These are the sort of sketches I like seeing when I look through people's art. I love seeing like little idea sketches like this. So you've got like the ice palace and the actual snowflakes because they had to obviously design all the snowflakes. So they're all different and you've kind of got how um, they wanted scenes to look obviously before they put the films in I think this is probably one of my favourites from this book um, and this one and how they made her cape look like crisp and frosty Her shoes, like even down to her shoes, had to be designed. <laughs> so yeah, like everything had to be designed. So marshmallow. <laughs> so marshmallow started off as a sort of angry Olaf, and then um, changed and obviously became marshmallow. So that's that one, and then I'm going to show you one more, and then I will leave the rest because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be waffling. This is going to be such a long video. So obviously I've got, I have the Nemo one, and I have the Tangled one as well. There is one page in here that I love, like the first page with just the base sketches of characters and that, and the patterns. I just love the design work on these books. The last one I have which isn't obviously Disney, <coughs> is the Hobbit one. The Hobbit has the map on the first page with a sketch of Thorin on, and then it's got Thorin's map. So there's that. Um, sketches of the basic layout, um, sketches of like little items. Um, actual photographs from the film um, like an actual uh, the actual set and you've got like down to things like this like sketches of the cupboards cupboards and like sketches of coving and little door handles and stuff like you have to put all the items in like sketches then it's just like laying things out and then you've got drawings of all the hobbits And then if I go, um, so the dwarves, <laughs> so you've got all your sketches for your dwarves, you kind of got like your ladies and carts and things. And then how they come up and they've drawn out each bit of armour each weapon so you've got like all your basic work and then you've got pictures of the characters in costume when they finally come up with things so obviously you've got Gandalf and his staff so like things like this that like you they've drawn out 
his staff in different ways and then tried with different colours and stuff like that. Radagast, it's a very scruffy character and they've got like little notes about each character. So it's like, <laughs> this is Radagast. Things like down to his costume and his hats and what, what animals are sitting on him and things like that. That you've got all these different ideas and then obviously you've got some character and costume and his house. Like these are all the sketches that go into making the final set. So it's just so nice to see like where things start off. So the trolls, for example. <laughs> Drawing out the different shapes of the swords, Rivendell, because obviously if someone's had to draw out an idea of Rivendell before they can turn it into a set. Gradual, so I'm just going to so this was another thing I liked, the giants, and you've kind of got these haggard rocks and then they turn to CGI and then you've got like obviously the final, final bit. And then at the end of this one, we have a contract of the design process. So, it's Bilbo's burglar contract <laughs> and it comes out so it's huge and it's got everything written on it and then at the bottom it's signed by the burglar. <laughs> so, this is one of my favourites, there's so many sketches for before things became final set and like set dressing and there's so much information about them so if you like art books or like seeing sketchy concepts for your favorite films then you should definitely look into the art books um for them um i've had these books for nearly four years um i love them i keep them in my cupboard so they're not out and they don't get damaged but i do pick them out every now and again if I'm struggling with inspiration. So these are my favourites. I hope you have liked this video. Um, I apologise if it was, was a bit long and waffly and not what you enjoy watching. Um, but if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up um, and check out my social media and everything which will be down in the description. I'll put links where you can get these books in the description as well. So yeah. I hope this vlogmas day one was somewhat interesting and I hope to see you guys in the next